morning guys, October 18th, 2023. This one here I got a call from a customer that I worked for before. He says he's got a toilet that he thinks that the wax needs to be changed. He says it's leaking, leaking on the floor, um, leaking down from the second floor. So, I mean, it could be anything. It might be the tank, tank to bowl bolts. Uh, it might be the supply. I usually check that first, make sure that part of it's not leaking before I change the wax. But um, obviously it's something that's leaking, so I'm gonna go over there and give it the old how you doing, Molly. Miss Molly. Gotta put the heat on in the morning now, it's getting chilly. Probably around 50 degrees a week up in the morning. So it's October, middle of October. Before you know it'll be getting snow. So, gotta get ready for the snow, Ma. Gotta get ready for the snow, Miss Molly. Now, that seems tight. You never know. I mean, you think it's you think it's leaking from the wax? Well, I just it drips onto the washing machine downstairs. All right, well, let's flush it and let's see. The leaks here. And, and every now and then it looked like. Yeah, it's probably it probably is the wax. Water, which I'm sure is not really rust. It's probably. Yeah, it's probably is the wax. I have to just check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know what it is. We take everybody's word for shit. No, no, I, I, it is a little loose there, but we want to make sure there's no leaks here, right? Right. Well, I guess see, sometimes the water has been would look like stained downstairs. Nah, I think it's the. Let's try the wax. I think that's probably. Whoever put this in then and put the caps on. All right, we'll do is we'll uh, pull it, pull the toilet and put a new wax on there, right? Okay. All right. Yeah. See, it's like damp around there. Yeah, you can see it's wet on the top there. See the yeah. wood's wet. Right here goes a drip about to come down. Yeah, no, we're gonna. Yeah, okay, it's the wax. It is definitely the wax. Okay. Usually what happens is they get the one of those funnel waxes. And what happens is if the funnel wax isn't perfectly in the middle of the pipe, the toilet, okay. the toilet will dump into the pipe, but then it hits the funnel wax and splashes and, and out. Okay. If you don't have the funnel wax, it just dumps in the pipe, less of a chance of it leaking. I don't use the ones with the funnel. Okay. My gasket's definitely crusty. Can you say it sticks? Oh yeah, look at it, it does stick, it huh? Come back up. Yeah. I mean, not all the time, just sometimes. Yeah, it seems like it, seems like it sticks right there. Yeah. Hold on. yeah. Maybe I can lube it or something. I can see it sticking. See it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing but quality here, yeah. cola. Nothing but quality. Is that sarcastic or is that? Huh? Is that sarcastic? I might be able, yeah, it is kind of. Oh. I might be able to adjust it so that the chain is a little longer. See if it goes up all the way. I'm not a big fan of the toilet. Just like a train. They think that's the greatest thing for sliced bread, right? Yeah. It's just a name. Dirt here from my last job, unfortunately. Yeah. Cola is the same thing. It's just a it's, a, it's a name brand that it's got a lot of shit products out there. Nothing great. It's like you're gonna buy a buy a car because it's a Ford or because it's a Chevy. You don't mean it's any good, right? Well, it, it, it usually it's like something at least has a history that built up the reputation, and then they start trying to cut costs and yeah. mess it up. It was it was good back in the day, you know. They had certain models, and then right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, probably and then, and then they um, then they try to reinvent the wheel and change everything, and, right. and then shit becomes trash. Yeah. Ain't that ain't that the truth? No, I do agree. Yeah. That's what happens. Weren't you always chewing on a toothpick like you used to smoke cigarettes or something? 
Yeah, I got hearing aids now. It's a fuck about these doctors and medicine. So now I, I ended up getting hearing aids. Then you always be chewing on a toothpick. Yeah. You used to smoke all the time, and then you started chewing That's on how a toothpick. I used a toothpick, but what I would yeah. do is rest it behind my ear with, with these hearing aids, and so I still keep the toothpick, but I, don't, I hardly use it anymore. Really? You want to move this for me? Yeah, sure. Not anything anymore. So the lungs are in much better shape. Yeah, smoking's, smoking's not the greatest thing for you, huh? Probably no. not, no. Did my dad do? Probably not the greatest thing for you. Back in the day. You know what they're saying? All the guys that used to be into the cigarettes, all the cigarette companies, right? They used to make all kinds of money on the cigarettes, right? Yeah. Then they finally, they finally admitted the cigarettes were no good. Well, them are the guys that bought all the food companies. So instead of instead of selling the cigarettes, now they're selling all the processed food. They're not dumb. Well, they still sell the cigarettes, and they put labels and warnings and everything. But you know, if you hooked, you hooked. It's just this difficult thing to get rid of. Yeah, it's just like the just like the alcohol, same shit, right? Yeah. They put shit in there that makes you want keep coming back for it. Shit can't it can't be good for you. I've been tracking my sleep when I go to sleep. I got this this watch, this Apple Watch, right. with a certain app, so I can see how much deep sleep I get. Like if I get eight hours sleep, right. if I sleep good, I get like you know four, five hours of deep sleep, fifty percent, forty, fifty percent deep sleep is good when you're sleeping. That's like almost half of it's deep sleep, right? Okay, I don't know what the right number should be, but anything over thirty is decent, you know. Okay. But I had that sleep apnea, and I wasn't getting any sleep before. But now that I got that strained out, I've been tracking, right? Okay. So see, I get 50% deep sleep, which is really good. Now, if I have two glasses of wine that night before I go to sleep, right. I won't get any deep sleep at all that, that, that really? night from two glasses two of glasses. wine. Ooh, it won't allow me to go into deep sleep. No kidding. So, I mean, just two glasses of wine. Yeah, right. That's not yeah. a lot of alcohol. That's not a lot, right? So, even like that little amount affects your sleep. You don't realize it. I never would have thought that, right? No, I, especially if like you said just two glasses of wine. The you know, wine is not heavy. You figure if it was heavy alcohol, but no, it's affecting me. I wouldn't have known if I wasn't tracking my sleep. Right. So I don't know what the beer does, but probably the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, flipping doctor get you on one pill and then you're on another pill and next thing next thing you know you're on another pill and you got this whole flipping case going on, right? You got you got like 12, 12, 12 bloody pills you got to take a day. It's like, what the flip, guy? I had uh Forget it. I don't know if I ever got the tie. I ended up like two years ago. I wound up in the hospital. I had this huge growth in my lung. Holy and shit. I was scared it was going to be like, you know, that was my deathbed. It was like cancer. Yeah, and all the, all the, all the smoking, right? It turned out not to be cancer. I was very lucky. To have, I opened my, opened my chest to get it out. But. It, wasn't, it wasn't cancer? No, it wasn't cancer, too. So I sent to my doctor. Wow. Yeah, it's got a it's got a funnel wax in there. It could be what that's happening. Get some spray. We'll clean this area before I put it back. Funnel. I gotta put a jumbo in there. See how low it is. It's too low. I'm gonna put... This is what the, this is what the deal is. I'll tell you right now. They put a new floor down here, right? Yeah, some of that spray, some of that spray, and uh, a little bag we can put this wax in. It's it's bigger and it's taller and everything, and it probably could see it's not even compressed. Okay. So that's what the problem is, and it's hitting that funnel wax that we talked about. Right. And thank God it will turn out. But like I said, they reset all the meds, and when I went to my doctor. Afterwards, I said, look, you know, I'm tired of the gout. you got to get me back an aloe purinol. 
she goes, I can't. You gotta wait till another outbreak to happen, and then we can talk. Somehow it, it messes you up. Oh, it's cracked. Look at this thing, it's cracked. The, See it? The, oh, yeah. See the flange? I got, a, I got a thing I could probably put on there and screw it down, maybe. Because if not, we gotta cut it out and put a new one in. Okay. Probably best to cut it out and put a new one in. I'm away here so long, I'm kind of like trying to get get active again and stop moving. Right. Uh, before I flip in. So it's too late for me, you know? Sure. So you joined the gym? Yeah. Back at the back at the flipping gym there and these aren't gonna work, see? I'm not gonna go. I gotta use I gotta use skinny ones. So we got some wax to it. It did push down. Good. So maybe I'll have to ask Donna if she's doing something on there. That's why I asked you, you know. Why it broke, who the hell knows? I do. But she was be a long story now, but so the way that thing cracked or whatever, he was asking me, you know, like doing like a dance on it when you you know you just using it, right? Yeah. Well, that's why I ask questions. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been down. I'm actually surprised that she answered that one. I would have, had that have been me, I might have been embarrassed. But I said, well, I lean on it, I, I kneel on it to clean the top or something. Yeah, no, I'm no. Not she sure I would have been quite that honest. She person. finally admitted it. Yeah. Aye. 
Well, I, mean, I didn't mind working for him, you know? Having to pay to repair that seagull for help, I can see what he yeah. said. Yeah, he'll still hear the... The story of the wall hung sink. Yeah, you would figure that they would do something else with this cancer shit, but I don't know. Yeah, they got a few of them I guess they can deal with, but it seems like a lot. You figure that they would they would try something. Obviously it's not working, whatever they're doing. Try something different, you know? Right. Gotta get gotta have an open mind here. Well they can't they can't cure everything. God knows if we all live to be 180. All right, I gotta change that um that flapper inside and see if we could adjust, find out oh. why that thing's giving us issues. I think this thing goes the opposite way. It should come out. It should. Yeah, there it is, right there. Unknown color. This gasket's got to be replaced, it's kind of lumpy, and maybe I could lube this thing up or something, something's sticking here. Something's a little queer about it. I don't know. Something's sticking. I have changed it without taking this thing, but this thing is, this is what's hitting is this, this edge here, or something, when it, when it gets up the top. I don't know. I think that this might be a little bit on the short side. Maybe we could lengthen it a little bit and try it, because there's not really much else I could do about it. Just and just kind of goes in there and twists. There's a, a quarter turn. There's a little slant in there, just gotta go in a certain way. And what a piece of shit design. That's it right there, it's in. And then this thing just spins like that. See it? Right. But I think that this has to be shorter. <clears throat> All right, that'll work. Hopefully, we'll try it. We'll give it a. Once we fill it, we'll flush it and see if it leaks downstairs. Okay. With the new gasket and got this thing fixed. We went on the chain and we this doesn't this is not coming up as high and it's not sticking. Little gasket. Let me know when you're down there and I'll flush it. You ready? I'll flush it one more time. Well, she's still coming up. She's still sticking the bugger. This is the handle. Could be that handle. I think it. I think it's your hand. I think it's your handle sticking. Yeah, maybe might be might be the handle sticking. Not as bad, but hit. Just put another handle on it, maybe. Looks like you're loosening it. I got the handle. With that for a while because sometimes we don't notice, yeah. And then the thing keeps like running out later. Yeah. Like, oh, Let me see what I go for a handle. Well, I bought all kinds of handles, but I think I ordered some that were specialty, specialty handles. I don't know. 
need a special handle for that because that's a that's a special special it's a short one you know it's a special handle there we go this one will work I can bend that probably now we can stand it handle that one will work There's just something to work in there. That one's too short. This one here, this one will probably work. It's a special, special handle, but it's pretty close to being, we'll make it work. How's that look? That looks pretty damn good. Yeah. Pretty damn close to it, so we'll try it. <laughs> and she slipped, pulled it through, it's like, <laughs> this is MacGyver, that was incredible. And it worked. Yeah. And she's done several things like that. Good for her. So she's the brains of the operation. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> I ain't gonna argue. <laughs> See the handles cut sticking. Yeah. Hey, come look at this. See what I mean? I just want to show you before I do it. See how the handle's sticking? Look at. Yeah, right. The hand, a chain on it. Yeah, I mean the handle is what the problem is. So that that's you, that shouldn't do that, right? Okay. Just so you know, it's the handle for sure. So we'll put another you one would in think there. I mean, that's the most simplistic piece of what the hell could a handle go wrong? Well, I mean, it's probably off. Who knows? Yeah. Could he get get some some muck on there or something? Sometimes if these holes are loose, I use a a washer in there. Yeah, this one this one's kind of sloppy. I gotta get a washer for it. I'm gonna get a red washer for that, because if not, it's gonna be slipping. And it's gonna. Nobody likes it sloppy, right? I'm gonna get a washer for it. The hole's a little bigger than I like it, so we're gonna use this. I'll put that in and I'll take up the. Is that you? I'm going to write out the check. Calling me? I'm just spelling the name after we press the button. Nobody likes a sloppy hole. That's why I put that washer in there. That, that washer take up the slop, you okay. know? Because the hole was too big. And then the thing was kind of moving around sloppy. You don't like a sloppy hole, do you? No? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, I know I don't. Uh, let's tighten it up a little bit and we'll be fine. <laughs> you looking forward to the retirement? Uh, no. Okay. See, this one's not. This one's not uh, fetching up. See, so that should be good. Okay. See it. I'm looking forward to the work. I gotta find myself a better hobby or something to take up my time. But for right now, I'm just still looking forward to just the freedom of 
not having the stress of work. Right. Yeah, once you retire, then you gotta find, like you said, you gotta find yourself a hobby to do. Yeah. Something to do. Um, you should probably just go to the health club. Well, I'll probably do that. Go to the health club, like, you know, maybe a, an hour a day or something, uh, right. just to keep yourself moving. Yeah, that I gotta do. That's what I'm doing. I'm going an hour a day. Yeah. Even I got, I get up early and I go. And then I get it out of the way. I feel better because, right. you know, I'm walking on a treadmill for 45 minutes and lifting weights. Right. Slow process, but then I start building. Right. You know? And then at least you're, at least you're doing, I know for me it's it's working out, so. I know. I, I mean, many years ago, I, uh, I can't just I can't just sit behind a computer all day. I, I can't. I had like a rowing machine that I just had to start to use. But I just, I, it only lasted me about six months because I just, it was in the basement. And I guess just got bored silly. Well, if you go to, if you're going back and forth to the health club, right. you, you know, stuff at home you get bored with. Yes, right. But if you can go to the health club, even if you just walk, say right. you're going for a half an hour a day just to walk, yes. and then you you you're keeping your heart moving. Yes, you're, no, you're, you're getting, I agree. You're, you're moving your right. you're moving your blood and your heart's pumping. Because yes. you're sitting around the house watching yes. the dogs all day. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get inflammation because your heart's not moving. Yeah. You're not moving around. You're not working. Right. No, I, I don't know. I just, 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 just an opinion. Because yeah. yeah. I, I see these guys retire and then they end up dying. Like within three, four years, most of them right. are dead. Because they stop doing anything. They stop doing. They stop moving. We got the washer in there, so to take up the slop. She's working better now. Well, at least we know that's not hitting. Right. Uh, well, at least we know the handle's not sticking. Nothing is Wait, right, you want to check it one more time downstairs? I'll flush it before I go. We flushed it already three, four times. This will be the last fourth time of flush. A new handle, new, new flapper, new gasket, and we built the wax ring. Let me know when you're ready. Ready? <laughs> it should be fine. I mean, I flushed it like four times. It would have shown up downstairs any water. Oh, yeah, she's still dripping. Yeah, she's still dripping. I gotta put a double wax. Yeah, I gotta put a double wax. <laughs> Oh, there is some water around here too. Maybe I don't know what this water's from, but maybe that's where the drip was. There's some water on the floor there. Might be coming from the shut off. Okay. We'll put another wax on there and we'll give it a little how you doing on it. That's gonna definitely seal it now. If there's any question, right? I don't want to check the want to check the shut off. Make sure that's not leaking. Yeah, you would think. That's certainly high now. It's higher than it was, right? <laughs> because sometimes there's no rhyme or reason to this shit. You just gotta keep going. Do the best you can. Yeah, I never, I never smoked. Well, I, I shouldn't say, I smoked, I think, for like six months. I never enjoyed it. Some people love that shit. Well, I don't know why, but yeah, my, my whole family, well, not my mom, but my dad and my brother, my sister, his wife, they all just, and everyone stopped basically after pop the lung cancer and died. And I guess it didn't matter. Pop, even with the lung cancer, wouldn't give up his cigarettes. But that's gonna definitely, that's gonna definitely seal it. Good. That wax there definitely sealed it. The snow, I'm buying another pack of cigarettes. Yeah, rain, snow, it don't matter, right? Yeah. Okay, so we got a, we know we got a good wax in there now, man. With a double, a double whammer. That flange really belonged on top of the floor, not below it, you know? Okay. But I don't want to 
want to start ripping and tearing and doing all kinds of crazy shit. We don't need it, you know. Yeah. Let's try to let's try this first. Hopefully, and, uh, make sure nothing leaks. It did seem to have some water on the floor there, though. One, uh, it's possible that. Uh, well, any chance that could just leak from the hose when you disconnected it? Well, might have been. We're gonna find out because we're gonna we're gonna fill it and flush well, it. I mean, we're I gonna fill it. Seen I wiped it all up now, so we're gonna fill it again and flush it a couple of times and make sure there's no water on the floor. Okay. Can't have it leaking. Make sure it's not leaking. So what you you got today off? Oh, you took today off? Or? I'm uh, I haven't been at work for oh, six weeks. This oh, shit is going that's going on with her. I got the problem. One more time. Seems like more water coming out of there. It's oh, leaking? Yeah. Same side again. But now it seems like even more water's coming out. More water? It's still leaking. I don't know why. We got a good seal on it. We shouldn't be. We gotta change it, but it's still leaking. Well, like we didn't try. Well, you certainly did. I did try to fix it. Sometimes you gotta go to plan B. <laughs> Unfortunately. It's kind of a brand new wax there. I hate to waste it, you know, I might be able to. It's a double. Fucking crazy. You'd figure that would have sealed it, right? Nope. Well, it wasn't cracked. If that's not where it was leaking from. Yeah, it was probably coming from this crack here. See it? Yes. And yeah, that's the side where it was leaking from. Yeah. So we're going to replace it. So we'll have to take it out and redo it. And try it. It ain't worth fucking with it no more. Most of the time this works, but in this time. Well, I guess if it would have been just the wax, not, you know. That if it wouldn't have been so broken, it probably would have. All right, so we got to cut downstairs. That should come right out of there now. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, you can see why I didn't want to change it. Could be a pain in the ass, is right. There it comes. There it comes. I'm gonna cut downstairs so it should come right out. That piece that dropped in. Oh, it's a street elbow. That's alright. We could do something with that. I'm gonna put a regular one. We'll see what we could do here. See what I'm saying? Turns into a flipping shit show from hell. I had enough room that I, I was able to cut the other pipe and then I had enough that I could glue a coupling on. And now I gotta I gotta cut this another piece. I'm gonna put an elbow and go up through. But that's uh that's in all the way. That's a full joint there. The other one had a coupling that was back a little way, so I would cut it right on the side of the coupling. And this is all that. Uh, he's got regular wood 
down below, but then he's got that particle shit between. I'm gonna cut this. <clears throat> Over when they're loose. But we're gonna see where we're gonna be. Then we can glue this in. Get it glued in. I'm just gonna do the riser. So the, the unit on top that I sealed up with some stuff. Yeah, very good. That's the one you're having a problem with. Yes, sir. All right, I'll have to go by there and see what you're talking about. Okay, I, I won't be in this afternoon. Okay, no problem. All right, yeah, bye. I'll get it as soon as I can. I'll go by there. Next week to be it's fine. But okay. It has to be done. All right, good okay. enough. Yeah. Look at that shit. Got a couple of screws loose, man. Alright. Not bad. I'm gonna put that in there. Yeah, that'll be good. That's better. It's better. Ugh. Fucking glue from hell here. I'm gonna put one here. There's good wood on the bottom, then there's that dust board in between. Crazy. You want to see what I'm doing here before I cover it up? Okay. I'm putting a piece in to bring the flange up. Oh, okay. A piece of plywood, kind of sandwich them two together because there's good plywood on the bottom. Right. Then there's that dust board right. that's all deteriorated. They use that like a... Um, subflooring for the... Subflooring. Yeah. Then I'll use this. I'll put this right like that and I'll glue that right in. See it? Yeah. And then we'll be able to, you know, do our thing here with this. Hopefully, that's the that's the plan. Then I'll put a wax on there, and that's what, that's our game plan. What do we got there? Four and a half. So we'll go like four and three eighths. Well, where I want to have them. I'm gonna have this. We'll put a mark here. We'll put a mark here. So 
So I don't want to screw that in. That's going to be good for the bolts, yeah. right? To the tube, right? Yeah. This is the one where you... They screwed up? It wasn't like anyone screwing up, it just apparently shit happens. Yeah, things things could happen, I mean, especially with all these, you know, did, 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 did a uh, drill get stuck in there or something? Yeah, you know, they, there's some thought, I mean, we can't, nothing, no, no, I can't find it right now. It's, it's tough to get them teeth, and sometimes them teeth don't want to come out, they're under a root or something, I mean, it could... Yeah, no, so, you break them up, they break the teeth to get them out. I mean, I've had that shit happen to me. The theory they had was she went. You never know. For, uh, shit. To, to prevent osteoporosis, she gets this infusion. I don't know, something with a bone. And they said that when you do that, it raises the risk because it really affects the bone. And if they pull a tooth, ah. then it takes so much longer to heal and. Uh, uh, we don't really know if that's legitimate, but... <coughs> yeah, it's a flipping shit show. It's all but like yeah, it was right. like... And, and it took him... I don't know, it took a good six weeks before she finally got admitted into the hospital and got something really done. She was in agony. Oily pain, uh, huh? A lot of pain. And, you know, Crazy. They, said they called it dry... Well... Dry socket. It dry socket, but I ended up having a bone infection in my jaw. Wow. That's scary, huh? Well, yeah. It was. It was. Hell. I mean, we had to go to. A then that, that that could give you a heart attack and all kinds of shit, if you in your jaw, right? Yep. It's well, serious. They, they say if you get a bone infection, you get into the bloodstream. That's why they ended up normally in six weeks. They wanted to give guy made it eight weeks. Crazy. Of that antibiotic just to be on the safe side. Yeah, antibiotics. I mean, unbelievable. It's only one thing. It's something else. You're all right, though, huh? Well, uh, we only just finished on Monday, so now we, Monday. we have to go. I don't know. Seems to be working for me. Yeah. All I know is that I have Sleepy been, time, they call it. I've been in hell since July 14th, and I wish it would stop. Hopefully it you'll be all right. It just keeps being one thing after the other yeah. after the other. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be all right. I'm hoping. One little simple thing turned it into a shit show. Yeah, and I've had multiple extractions before. It's not a bit of a problem. <laughs> yeah, but now you, I was telling him you had that. Well, yeah, I had the You know, sometimes you're better off with a re uh, extract than you are, you are with that flipping uh, a root canal shit. I'd rather, I'd rather have them rip it the hell out of there. That's me. Well, that, that, that's me as well. I mean, I don't want no flipping root canal. Rip it, rip it out. Because uh, you got nothing but problems with the root canal shit. That's it. as good as it's going to get. What can I tell you? Yep. <clears throat> what a flipping job from hell, huh? Well, you're definitely a craftsman. Job from hell. Put a new wax on there and that should do it. I'll use this same wax we had. Got plenty of wax there. Yeah. Right? Two rings. Yeah. Put that in there and. Give it a flip and give it a once over. Yeah. 
kicking my ass. <laughs> Yard. Oh really? I've been I've been cleaning it out, taking the stuff to the dump. Right. You don't get a lot of weeds. It's not too bad, you know, I mean, in the certain areas, yes. But we have, uh, not Kevin, but it's another one of those places that sprays, you know, for the weeds and the... Fruit. Oh, they come in and check all that, yeah. That looked, that went on there good, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah. We're down to like 98 pounds or something at one point. Wow. And then, uh, finally, you know, it was probably our third time into the ER. And this doctor put her on, instead of an oral, he put her on an IV and they'd be out of the next day, it was already improving and the swelling and everything. So he admitted her and we kept it up and it started to work. So oh, okay, yeah. That no. was like six weeks into it of, of pain. Then you have problems. My dog's getting worried about me. The dog? Yeah. If, if I'm if I'm gone in the in the, in the house for like an hour or so, half an hour, she gets all flustered, waiting for me out there. Yeah, my boy doesn't like being left alone either. But as soon as I as soon as I come in the truck, bark 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 bark. I gotta pet her. Yeah. Like she missed me. Yeah, he, he's like that too. Sometimes even to just run a quick errand. By the time I come back in, he's jumping up. He's yeah. Wanting attention. When I got the dog, the, the lady says, she says, she's high maintenance. I said, what do you mean she's high maintenance? She's only three months old, a little tiny thing. Right? She says, she's high maintenance. She was, she was high maintenance. Oh, really? Yeah, well, she, she wants a lot of continuous attention. So. Mine. That's so, yeah, she's high maintenance. I mean, if you're not. Uh, giving her attention, she's barking, or she's she wants you to continually pat her and show her attention, or she gets my all, big one she gets all pissed off. Like the bigger one there is like a, an animal born rabbit hunter. And the rabbits in the yard drive him crazy. Oh yeah, he's probably that's that's probably oh, his nature, right? right? He's like that. Yeah. So he's escaped to me like three or four times, and I have to keep doing something to tighten up the fencing or do something. So. <sighs> All right, you want to go downstairs and we'll flush it again. After changing the flange, I should have probably did it the first time, but... I got some shit going on with this one. You ready? You ready? I'll flush it again. Hang on, it's got to fill up. And also the handle, the flapper, bolts, wax, closet flange, elbow, coupling, pipe. That's good. <laughs> 